Today, I'm going to go over one of the difficult topics of SQL, which is joins. I'm going to try to give a very simple example and keep it under five minutes. So let's do it. Joins in five minutes. So uh, let me start with an example. So uh, here we're going to create the tables first, right? Let's do it from scratch. So this query will create two tables, team A and team B, which will keep the players for each team. Let's say team America and team Canada, right? So let me execute this query and two tables are created. So if I refresh here, I'll see that uh, table A and table B are created in our default schema, okay? So uh, the next thing that I want to do is I want to insert some data in the tables because as of right now, the tables are empty, right? And uh, I will have to add some data some data into our table. So if I select the table as of right now, I'll see that team A and team B, they're both empty, right? So I will search some data into team A, which is Mia, which is the player is playing soccer, Sophia, golf, Daniel boxing, Noah tennis, and in the other team, they're playing some, uh, some players are playing their sport. So let me insert the data. And then after I inserted the data, if I run these two queries again, select from team A and from team B, I will see that I have four players in team B and four players in team A, they're playing each their sport. So to make it visual, I also created the Excel version of this one. And we see that Sophia, which is playing golf, she is versing David, which is playing golf, and she also will verse Emma, which is playing golf. And Daniel, which is boxing, he will verse James, which is boxing. And I see that Mia is playing soccer, but there's no one in this team playing soccer, and the same for Noah, and the same for Olivia, right? So uh, by definition, let me go to the let me go to the definitions, right? So what is inner join? Inner join keyword selects records that have matching values in both tables. So we want matching records from table A and from table B on a specific condition. What is the specific condition? The condition is both of them are playing the same sport. So let me go here and I say, let me get all the data from team A, okay? Inner join, team B, and then on a specific condition, the specific condition Condition is team A dot sport, right? So the sport, the sport is the same in the uh, both teams, right? Team B dot sport. So players which are playing the same sport, they will show in this in this uh, join, right? So I have joined data from both tables, and I see Daniel is boxing, James is boxing from different teams, right? And Sophia is playing golf and she will verse David and Emma. Okay, so are we showing these players which are not versing anyone? No, because inner join by definition just gives us those data that, that match each other, right? So this in this case, these uh, players that are matching each other. Uh, what, about, what about left join, right? Left join returns all records from left table. Left table is a table one and the matching records from the right table. What does it mean? It means that if we use the, if we use the left keyword here, it will display all the data from this table, which is on the left, right? And then even though if they're not matching, right? So if I execute this one, it says, yes, these are matching. Plus I have Mia on the left and Noah on the left, they're not matching anyone. So if I go to the Excel and if I see, I have the matching records plus from the left table, which is team A, I have Mia and Noah, right? And, uh, and then what about right, right uh, join? Of course, you should understand as of right now, we'll give us the matching records plus those records from team, uh, from team B, right? From the right table. So this is the left table. The first one is the left and this one is the right table. So give me all the data that are joining plus those from the right which are not matching anyone so if i execute this one i will see those that are matching plus i see olivia even though she's not matching anyone right and uh, at the end also i will also teach you the drop so drop means i want to delete those tables with the data that are there right so here i have these two tables i'm done with my example let me just delete everything here and i use drop table a and drop table team b if I execute this one, this will just delete those tables with the data that are there. So hope that you enjoyed it. So this is 
join in five minutes. Have a good one.